<laughs> All right, friends, welcome back to day 12. Can you believe it? We're halfway through this thing. The Brewer's Advent Calendar from Costco for the year 2020, day 12. Now, day 11 was yesterday. That brought us a, I believe it was a Hellas style lager. Uh, let's see what day 12 brings us. So let's take a look here and see what we get. Day 12 is smack dab in the middle. It's the third from the top, third from the bottom row, three in on the left side. Okay, so today, day 12 brings us this one. <laughs> this one. Can you believe it? We get this one. It is Londium. It says Kartner Craft. Londium Beer Manufacturer. Okay, I can read that. Handcrafted Vienna style lager. And this one is 5.1%. I believe yesterday was 5.1%. It says, Brewed and owned by Kalia. Whoa, Kalia in Freelassing, Freelassing, Germany. And Kalia is the, the company that puts out this beer box. So that's why I'm like, whoa. And it tells you fruitiness, three out of five. Bitterness, three out of five. Color, two out of five. Hoppiness, three out of five. Maltiness, three out of five. That's pretty cool. That's the first time, I think, on any of these that it said that. And the, this expires on May, in May 2022. Guess what? May 2022, like almost every one of these beers have been. I'd like to take this time to also thank my executive producers, Ryan Berry, Rob Santana, and Eric Latowski for helping bring this video to you today. So let's go ahead and crack this. We'll put a nose on the can. Vienna style lager. Not getting much aroma out of the can. I'm hoping I get a lot of flavor. Uh, I think I've only had one beer out of 12 so far, halfway through, if I hadn't said that already. 12, only one of these beers has been not what I would consider really up to snuff. It was a little off. I believe that was day 10. Had a little bit of a kind of a metallic taste. And this one, I'm hope, hoping that it's not going to be like that. Taking a look at that, it's got about two fingers worth of head. Really nice, really dense, really tight, really nice, large kind of distribution across the top where the pour went in. Uh, let's hold this up to the camera here so you can see that. This is a little bit, a little bit hazy. This is probably one of the hazier ones that I've had. Maybe other than that first day, that Marzen, that was pretty hazy. Still not getting a whole lot of aroma, uh, just even out of the glass. But I'm looking forward to these three dots of fruitiness, these three dots of bitterness, two dots of color, three dots of um, hoppiness, and three dots of maltiness, whatever that means. So we'll, we'll see what that means. So cheers. That one's really sweet. It has a, a slight kind of malty sweetness up front. And then as you start to swallow, it is like the sweetness amplifies. Of course, it, it's like on the sweetness scale, the fruitiness scale, if we, you know, this says, this says three out of five. So we're going to say that's, you know, six out of 10. I would say this is probably more like a five out of 10 on the fruitiness scale. Bitterness, I, there's a slight bitterness on the tail, on the swallow, on the aftertaste. It does have a bit of a kind of a orangey kind of sweetness. So I, I do appreciate that. The bitterness, it does have a little bit of bitterness on the swallow and on that aftertaste. Let's go with the color. I like the color. I think that's a good color. It's not super clear. Hoppiness, three out of, out of five. That'd be a six out of 10 again. Don't get a whole lot of bitterness. I think that uh, Maybe in the Vienna style lager arena, this would be a little bit of a bitter, like a maybe a six out of 10. But I think for, you know, other beer, I guess this would probably be relating it against uh, other Vienna style lagers in this category. I think that's pretty cool that they have all these marks on here to kind of give you an idea if you're not maybe an experienced beer drinker uh, or maybe you have not an experienced Vienna style lager drinker, which I am not. That would probably help you out. But again, this was Lodium Beer Manufacturer. Okay, handcrafted Vienna style lager. I can almost read everything on here. And this one is, again, from Kalia. Kalia, the, the manufacturer that put this whole box together. So that's been day number 12. Hopefully, uh, you know, you're halfway through if you're following along. And we have 12 more days to go. Hopefully, the 12 more, you know, only 12 more days of my descent into madness. And um, come back tomorrow for day number 13. We'll see what this beer box beholds maybe again we're still looking on the quest for that west coast style ipa i'm getting a feeling that we're not going to get that but i have enjoyed that all these different lagers you know pale ale here and there a weiss beer here and there you know but all these different style lagers they've all been subtly different now if i had tried these all back to back would i have been able to tell the difference between all of them 
I don't know, maybe not, but having the first kind of taste of these beers has kind of given me a better appreciation of lagers just in general. I think that Marzen was one of my favorites. I think that Turbo Prop, the Imperial Pills, was one of my favorites. But I am looking forward at the end of this to kind of giving a overall review of all the different kind of beers and all the different styles and all the different um, varieties of beer that we've gotten in this beer box. So come back and join me for day number 13. Until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are, and most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little Draft Therapy. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers. Cheers.